What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So if you guys didn't know, I actually traded for another Purple Sparkle Time Fedora. Then I traded off my Purple Sparkle Time Fedora. I'm just going to show you guys what the heck happened because um, this person, one of my friend's girlfriends, wanted specific items for a Purple Sparkle Time Fedora. So I knew that I could probably make a couple hundred thousand Robux value if I got these items and then I traded off the Purple Sparkle Time Fedora for like a, around a 1 million OP in a mass. So that is what I did. So if you guys did not see, we're going to go to my profile here because now we're at 21,252,000 value. Uh, before we were at 20 million, 21 million and around, uh, we're at, so we went from 20,024,000 value to 20,252,000 value by getting this purple sparkle and then already trading it off within like a day. Uh, so I'm going to try to go through this, you guys, because it was uh, a little confusing. So. Um, I actually ended up trading right here. I traded these specific items for the Purple Sparkle Time Fedora right here, as you guys can see. And um, it was like a 270k OP or something like that. So I had to trade to get all these items. And then I just traded today for uh, these. I got these items right here in the Purple Sparkle Time Fedora trade that I did with Lost. Lost said it was his dream item. So it was just cool to trade someone whose uh, favorite hat is also Purple Sparkle Time Fedora. You know, just makes it that much better for him. So we did that and we actually, I, I was hoping, you know, it was a little scary though, trying to get all these specific items. I'm like, man, am I even going to profit off this? But we actually did end up making to over 200,000 profit around like 225,000 profit off that. So I'm actually really happy with that. And uh, we actually got some good items as well. Like we ended up getting Black Iron King of the Night, which is in discussion right now. It's been doing super well. I think it's probably going to raise like maybe 75K, I'm guessing. It's been getting like 175k offers of 200k is what it's been going for so it's definitely going to raise for sure also black falc is in discussion right now i'm guessing that's going to raise a couple hundred thousand it should raise 200 thousand, but they're probably going to raise like 150k if i had to guess i don't know anyway we should be sitting at around 21.5 million when these items raise which is great because we're making steady profit here and uh, obviously that's the goal six months ago we had 14.9 million and now we are up to 21.252 million. And probably within a day or two, we're going to be up to 21.5 million with these specific items here. And also red glowing eyes, hold on, red glowing eyes right here is actually doing really well too. So let me just show you guys, I'm just going to show you guys all this stuff right here. So I'm going to show you guys Black Iron King of the Night <clears throat> and what it's been going for. So I mean, 154 KOP right there. This was offered at 180 KOP. Um, it went for right here. 1.34 million with clockwork shades so that's a really good proof right there another 100k 180k offer there with some pretty nice items aside from valk 210k op right there is what this one is offered um 160k op with void which is a void lowball and void just raised so black iron king of the night is doing like super fire right now which is one of the reasons that i did this trade because i knew it was going to do really well and i figured it would go into discussion and as soon as i got it it literally went to discussion so also glowing eyes have been doing really good 130k op there 150k op right here 175k offered here with two silver king of the knights and clockwork headphones um red glowing eyes are definitely due for a raise in my opinion it's been doing really, really well, getting good offers. So 850 for 990 right here. Where did I just see that? Yeah, 140 KOP right there with Clockwork Headphones. It's doing really well in the Emperor face. It's doing really, really well right now. So I'm happy with that. And uh, like I said, Void is in discussion right now too. So it just makes it that much better. We should, if these raise accordingly to what they should, we should be at 21.5 million um, within a day or two. So that's obviously the goal is just to keep going up in value. I don't want to get over or, uh, like around 50 collectibles because I feel like that's just too many. But when you do, though, downgrade, like inflation is hitting everything so hard, I could make way more just downgrading all my bigs and then just waiting for things to rise because like Purple Sparkle can only raise so much, especially when it has this many premium owners. It's like, and all these small items just keep going up and up and up and up and up. So it, it's, it, it makes it weird, like... I don't know. Black Iron King of the Night, though, I feel like has, like, really good potential. I mean, it only has 54 premium right now. Void is, like, 200, and it's still... And it's low... I mean, Void's low-balling for it. Black Iron King of the Night, I think, has really good potential, honestly, with, with how low the premium copies is. And it honestly looks really good. Like, I have it on my avatar right now, and I think it looks fire, to be honest with you. It matches really well. It actually matches my fit pretty good. Yes, get the camo on. All right, just relax. We're in the 2016 era. I like the camo, all right? Just, just give me a break. Just give me a break, dude. 
A 30 KOP right there, definitely not going to accept that for Subarctic Commando. I just don't feel like that's worth it. Um, well, we got Viscount, though, as you guys can see, if you guys want me to show you guys the trades again. But they're not going to load, dude. I don't I don't know if it's Row Pro. I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. We should create a trade ad, though. Because I'm thinking about downgrading Black Falk right now. But someone did want to offer Black Falk potentially. Um, but they haven't replied in a bit. So I'm not really too sure what the heck they're doing, honestly. But I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. I'd like... I prefer... <clears throat> a four item trade but i would probably take a five if the items are good so that's what i'm thinking so yeah that was a trade again i got these just plutonium pirate whatever honestly i feel like these are a good emo item with the scissors and stuff <laughs> i feel like these actually have could have decent potential to be honest with you uh yeah they're not too bad i have five of them right now i'll probably just not even trade them to be honest i'll probably just hold them for a while uh, i don't think there's any point to trade them when we have a handful of good items that we actually can trade what I need to do, though, is just straight up just decline all inbounds because we don't have anything good. I already checked earlier, and I'd just like to do a restart with a with a uh, with creating an ad. But I got to see, like, <clears throat> I'd take Messer or Rex in a trade for Black Falc. I'd obviously want, like, Pink or Sky Blue, but they're getting really big OPs right now. So it's kind of like, eh. I mean, I'd t definitely take another Black Iron King of the Night in a downgrade, maybe Blue Steel Fedora, so... We'll see. As you can see, it declined 107 out of 108 trades. I'm assuming that... Uh, wait, did it decline all the trades? I don't even know if it declined all the trades or not, but... I just love it when Roblox is being slow when I'm trying to make a video. Because I hopped on, and as soon as I hopped on, the Roblox website's like being super, super slow. But I just want to uh, just show you guys that anyway. Just because uh, I figured you guys would like to see what the heck I just did. Because if you guys have been looking at my inventory the last few days, you're probably saying, dude literally what have you been doing right now <clears throat> you guys are probably saying what are you doing so yeah okay so right here what do we have we have that 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 and uh now we're at 20 we're about to be at 21 million five hundred thousand roughly as long as all things go accordingly and uh you know the things actually raise how they're supposed to because they definitely are in for a raise. That's all I'm saying. More bot trades, more bot trades. Wizard 01, 101, 101. This dude's literally a bot. There's nothing I can even do here. He, It's so annoying to try to trade this guy straight up. Like, it's actually so annoying to try to trade this person. I'm just saying the worst trade possible bag just because they're annoying me. Um, yeah. They're literally just annoying me. So, I'm pretty sure it's a bot, though. Like, 99% sure. And this is a bot, too. I need to go through and unblock all the old people that I haven't had blocked. Or that I've had blocked for so long. And just start blocking these people, man. Because I guess sent Ash sends me these freaking trades all the time. I don't know if you're a bot or not, Ash. I think you are a bot. And it's driving me nuts. I'm not going to cap. It's actually, it's actually kind of making me annoyed. I'm not going to lie. Like, how about you just give me all these and you can take that. I, I, it doesn't even you doesn't even do anything to the bots because they just hit like auto decline on them anyway but it's honestly so <laughs> it's honest like look th this is already declined uh it's just so annoying it the bot just auto declines that and it just makes me annoyed to be honest like i don't know all these bots on here roblox has got to add like a like the the cap the cap the thing whatever the heck it is because i can't stand these bots dude and or increase the block limit like, I don't know why you wouldn't increase the block limit, to be honest. It really doesn't make much sense to me why you would not increase the block limit on this. I have no idea why you would not. Um, I don't even know what Viscount goes for. I'm assuming Fiery goes pretty good, to be honest. But I don't even know if I want a Fiery right now. Because, uh, honestly, I, out of all the horns, I think I like Fiery the least. I think I definitely like Fiery the least. So, yeah, I don't know. We, I mean, we can't accept this. We just We can't accept that, dude. We can't accept that. Like, what do you want me to do here? I'm going to need a, a bigger win than this even. I'm going to need like a 90k. I'm going to need like a 90k for this, honestly. So that's what we're going to have to send out is a 90k. But really, I just want to show you guys this Purple Sparkle Time Fedora trade and try to do my best to explain what the heck that I just did, really. So we really just kind of went crazy and made about 225,000 value. And when Black Falk raises and Black Iron King of the Night, technically the 225,000 for the uh, the Purple Sparkle trade will turn into more like around 300k win for that. So I feel like that's pretty good overall. 
making some steady growth, man. We're making some steady growth. Like I said, six months ago, we were at 14.86 million. And hopefully by tomorrow, we'll be at 21.5 million. These leaderboards, though, they're just going crazy, bro. I swear. The more value I gain, the more value other people gain, too. It's, it's kind of nuts, man. I'm not going to lie. The more I gain, the more other people gain. Like, right here, we're right here. This man's is right here. This dude could trade off Rainbow Shaggy and go to, like, like freaking up here. You know, like, like top 30 almost. This person just keeps getting hella value. I don't know if they're... They're, they're always in trade hangout. Look at this steady growth. This is crazy steady growth. I mean, that's just really good steady growth. I, do they even trade? They definitely trade. <clears throat> they have a lot of bigs, too. I mean, they have seven clockwork headphones, five frozen. Man... They have three RQR. Wow. How many limiteds did this person have? 83. That's not even that many for 26 million value, to be honest with you. They're doing pretty dang good. But guys, yeah, I just want to show you guys this. And I hope you I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it was kind of a runaround. But guys, it was kind of crazy. I love you guys. Thank you for watching.